he gave his one and only son God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that he is in shall not perish but have eternal life that he were shepherds living out in the fields nearby Keeping watch over their flocks at night An angel of the Lord appeared to them And the glory of the Lord shone around them And they were terrified, but the angel said to them do not be afraid, I bring you good news.
to you. You'll find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel. Hey kids, it's a long flight this week, but as you can see, I'm here on location. Now, you might not know what this is. This is called the Wailing Wall. It's the western wall or the last wall that's standing of the temple in Jerusalem. In fact, the temple was where Jews had to go to offer sacrifices and to pray to God 
for generations before Jesus came. And so now at this wailing wall, oftentimes Jews come in order to pray and to lament, to cry. That's what that means. Because they don't have a temple to go and to meet with God. Now the reason they pray there is because they feel like at this wall, their prayer holds special force or special authority or has a better likelihood of reaching God. But guess what we know? As those who have come to know Christ, we can have confidence that God hears our prayer. When you place your faith in Jesus, it is as if you have been made clean before God, which means that it doesn't matter if you're at the wailing wall in Jerusalem or if you're in your bedroom at home or if you're anywhere else that you can pray to God and he hears you. You see, the early church, as you're going to see in your video, was praying for Peter even when he was in jail. And not only could God hear their prayers, but he responded to their prayers by doing something about it. So you, doesn't matter how tall you are, doesn't matter how old you are, doesn't matter how good you've been that day, you pray, you pray to God, and you ask Him the desires of your heart that they would align to His because God hears your prayer and He answers them for the sake of His glory and His good name. Peter was arrested and put in jail. Sixteen of King Herod's soldiers guarded Peter. Sixteen! Now that's maximum security. But Peter's friends did not give up. They prayed and prayed for Peter's release. The night before Peter was to be put on trial, he was chained between two soldiers. Two more soldiers guarded the door. Peter slept. Suddenly, an angel appeared, and Peter's prison cell was bright with light. Quick, get up, the angel said. The chains immediately fell off Peter's hands. The angel said, get dressed. Put on your sandals and your cloak, then follow me. I don't like to be woken up in the middle of the night, but I think I'd be fine with this. Peter obeyed, but he did not understand what was happening. He thought he was dreaming. The angel led Peter past the first guard post. They walked past the second guard post. When they reached the iron gate into the city, they opened by itself. Peter followed the angel to the next street, and then the angel disappeared. Peter said, Now I know God has sent his angel to rescue me from Herod. As soon as Peter realized this, he went to the house of Mary, John Mark's mother, where his friends were praying. Peter knocked on the door of the gate. A servant named Rhoda came to answer. When Rhoda heard Peter's voice, she was so excited that she ran back inside and left Peter standing outside. You're crazy, Peter's friends told Rhoda when she announced who was outside. It's his angel, they said. Meanwhile, still outside, Peter kept on knocking. When his friends finally opened the door, they were amazed. Peter told his friends how God rescued him from prison. Tell James and the others, Peter said. Then he went away to a safe place. in heaven where mop and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where mop and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal for where your treasure is there your heart will be also for where Where your treasure is, store up for yourselves.
treasures in heaven will mop and rust and not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal the store up for yourselves treasures in heaven will mop and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal There your heart will be also where your treasure is. There your heart will be also. There your heart will be also where your treasure. Your heart will be also for where your treasure is. There your heart will be also for where your treasure is. Your heart will be also. Where your heart